Hey guys, welcome. This is a general reading for the collective of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How you doing, Sag? Well, I'm still here for you, working with the energies of Lion's Gate, so I'll be doing the Twin Flame spread today for you. But let's start with Gateway of Light activation, just to kick off the reading. Welcome, Cross Watchers. And for those of you who are brand new to the channel, please do say hi come in the comments let me know where you're tuning in from i'll come back i'll swing back later and um say hi back yeah oh venus is coming in for you here venusian galactic council star being guides answer the call time to shine i'm going to hold it back and then push it in so you can kind of see Oh, 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 let's see if you can see it. See, 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 see the Venusian Council. Do you see that figure there in the center? I don't know if you can see. Oh, I know. It's hard with the lighting, but let me describe it. It is like an angelic. I almost have to like fold her in a little bit. It's like this angelic being... She's got a, uh, what looks to be a crystal um, crown. There are more beings. There's a being here. There's a being here. So um, star being guides, Venusian Galactic Council. Mm-hmm. I love when I see stuff and it starts to come out at me and I'm like, oh, there you are. So let's see what your message is. Your message, this is for everyone watching. This is a call to action, but of course, Sag, you are being asked to step up and create the changes you want to see in the world. You have a reason for being here and you have the potential to inspire, support, and heal your corner of the world. Don't let this information scare you or overwhelm you. For you are being prepared energetically to step into this role. The ideas you have been having recently are divine downloads. But you aren't being called to make dramatic changes to your life, simply to move forward step by step. The Venusian Galactic Council will reveal more information to support you. Be aware of downloads of information and spiritual signs for they are confirmation that you are on the right path. So that's part of Lionsgate Portal, right? And even though we have this opening at the end of July and we peak at 8-8 and it kind of, kind of like the, the portal sort of closes out around mid-August, the energy just doesn't go poof and collapse in on itself. So, so that is when the, the, the veil between the spiritual and physical world is thinnest, but it doesn't just kind of, the door doesn't just shut. So I feel like this is a reminder to you that, that there are things, there are downloads, there are light codes that have been kind of coming in, coming in, coming in, coming in. And this is almost as if to say, just take it step by step. Take it step by step in your corner of the world, in your realm. It's this very energy that actually um, prompted me to kind of create this channel. Um, that's why I even named it the Awakened Priestess, based on the High Priestess. It was like all those signs and synchronicities that were coming in all those messages what do i do with it where do i go with it well i just go to my own you know i just do what i know to do and this was something i that was my own my tower work was my own and so i i brought it here it was all i knew to do and i just took step by step by step by step and I think, kind of think that's what the council is saying. If that makes sense, it's just an example. I'm, I'm by no means, I am by no means <laughs> the guide. I am simply saying, I feel like that's an example of what the message could be. Okay, 
So let me go ahead, pull the spread for you, for all of you watching, cross watchers, always remember, energies can be flipped around. So when I'm saying you, 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 it doesn't necessarily mean the Sagittarian. It could be you, 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 the cross watcher. So all of you just have to remember, take it as it resonates for you. It's a general reading, not a private reading. Um, though I do offer them, there's always a link in the description box below. You just have to scroll a little bit. Ooh. Ooh, so your shared energy here coming through um, King of Pentacles, it's about stability. And, it, and the, to me, the King of Pentacles is usually about um, a masculine archetype of a life partner, but it's talking generally about um, stability, reliability, predictability, um, someone who can be counted on. Um, depended upon if we're just looking at shared energy. Hmm. Nice. So in this spread, this uh, these first cards here are sort of where you each are in the moment at, uh, with regard to the connection individually. Uh, these next cards represent your karmic challenges, and a karmic challenge means... You know, sometimes, you know, karma's your friend. Um, you know how you say, oh, that's some really good karma, right? And then sometimes we say, I'm having some really bad karma. And when it's bad, it's because we're out of alignment somehow. So this is the challenge, something that we need to kind of work on, work through, get back in alignment with regard to something that's getting in the way. Um, opportunity here with the Nine of Pentacles and Divine Guidance coming in there with the Sun. It's about happiness. So, um, again, shared energy, King of Pentacles. I'm going to get some clarifiers around that. You are coming through here with the Magician. So, um, it is about manifestation. It is about also understanding that you, you know, have all the tools that you need. Um, like the, the Council says. And it is about a sense of mastery and your belief in yourself that you are, um, you know, the creator of your own reality. And, um, right, this magician, the as above and so below of it all, wrangling it at 5D and <laughs> lassoing it and pulling it down to this earthly plane it's sort of like we kind of have to operate the soul and the human experience at the same time your person hmm two of pentacles so sometimes the two of pentacles is uh where there's some assessment going on twos are always about choice and decision in tarot and the two of pentacles is a little bit of a juggling act and I'm kind of keeping it loose while we assess realities on the ground. Sometimes it can be a little bit of a stalling tactic, so we'll see. Or where somebody's kind of like not sure, they're on the fence. We'll get there. In your karmic challenge, we are facing some energy of either feelings uh, of sort of having been abandoned, rejected, uh, devalued on some level, and maybe that has crept in uh, internally somehow and you've bought into it and maybe there are some self-esteem issues present that you're struggling with. And your person, uh, their karmic challenge, Three of Cups, could be about a reconciliation, a coming back together. And maybe there's either something they need to assess around that, make a decision around, and maybe they're stalling for time. Okay, these are just my off the cuff, looking at it, get right, finger to the wind, we'll get the details with the clarifiers. The opportunity here at Nine of Pentacles, again, I'm feeling like this is about confidence and you know your independence and autonomy. And um, there is, she's, she is the single person of the tarot and there's not a problem with that <clears throat> unless, you know, your focus is on something more life partnership oriented than the opportunity is about how to be comfortable with everything that you already have and that you've already achieved for yourself and manifested for yourself and using that as the receipts, as we like to say, or as the kids say, 
to reframe your worth and value. Like to have it be the proof, the evidence of what you've already achieved, how far you've already come, what you're already worth, what you've already done. So that we can kind of get out of this sense of somebody else determining or, or allowing ourselves to have somebody else's, the way they treat us or the way they don't, be a stamp that, that we sort of, um, I'm struggling because I want to be careful how I say it. It's a big audience. So sometimes we internalize. Someone says a thing, someone does a thing, or someone doesn't do a thing. And then it becomes a statement that we internalize about what we may or may not be worth or worthy of. And so I feel the opportunity here is about that, reframing that. And the divine guidance is about what does it really mean to be happy? And the, the sun card speaks about happiness being um, measured in terms of bliss. You know, and some people say ignorance is bliss. Do you know why? Because with ignorance, it's like you don't know enough to know how bad shit can be out there in the real world, right? But if you peel back in just the visual of the card, you've, you've got a little ignorance here because you've got a child who doesn't know, you know, doesn't know what a full grown person would know and, and is just, and is, you know, naked, romping around in the backyard on a pony with the silk little silk flags and playing and the sun is shining not a care in the world but look what's protecting him there's that brick wall right protecting this little innocent child from the harsh realities of the world beyond and so the sun card also represents feeling safe and protected in our vulnerability that's bliss so I am feeling like there's a message here, more for this side of the spread, quite frankly, but it's coming because of, um, you know, some indecision, some delays, some um, stalling for time, maybe uh, some sense of someone not showing up for you, not feeling like this person maybe not having your back, what does this card mean? What is not happening or what is happening in this connection around predictability, reliability? What is or isn't? Let's go. Can't make it up. We're talking about commitment. <laughs> hmm? There's some fears lurking, and so y'all are reaching a crossroads moment. And because I may be talking to those of you who it's like the lack of the commitment, the lack of the account, the lack of the... Um, you know, somebody buying in and this person not sort of giving you a straight answer or maybe sort of stalling for time. Maybe there is a way that you're perceiving it that suggests that this person doesn't see you as worthy of something more. Magician. Right, you're trying to manifest, you're trying to manifest the happily ever after 
with this person who has captured your heart clearly, but you want that that love returned and and you're seeking some form of this reconciliation. So clearly we've got, you know, and this is a reconciliation card as well. So there may be something that I'm kind of coming into the middle of. Um, and there may be, uh, if not, if not, if there haven't been any troubled times, there may just be this moment where you're trying to manifest some, where can we compromise? Okay, if there's not a need for a reconciliation fully for some of you, maybe like you're seeking the compromise. Two of Pentacles for your person. Seven of Pentacles, three of Cups again. Hanged man, sure, this person is absolutely obfuscating, stalling for time, patience, uh, temporary standstill, a little bit of stagnation. This um, hanged man underneath is just kind of, he's pressed, whoever this is, is pressed pause. He, she, doesn't matter, has pressed pause. Mm, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of on the fence. I'm torn. I'm just going to kind of let it kind of ride and let it unfold organically. Um, so that's where this person is. No decisions have been made. They're sort of waiting it out. Um, yeah, and we'll get to their karmic challenge because it's showing up presently right now as well. So for you in the karmic challenge with this five of pentacles, five of swords, eight of swords, the sun, there it is. You do not feel safe and protected in your vulnerability with this person. You feel like, right, like, like you were set up. Rejected, abandoned, disavowed, devalued, uh, feeling totally stuck now, second guessing everything that you ever thought about this connection. Um, this is your karmic challenge, meaning this is what you're dealing with and what you have to work through and the sun underneath, right? We're going to get to that, but you definitely do not feel safe. Um, in terms of, and I don't mean physically safe, I mean emotionally, right? How can I be vulnerable with somebody that, you know, I thought maybe there was going to be some kind of a committed future with? Someone I thought had my back, and now I feel like this, now I'm not necessarily seeing betrayal. For some of you, of course, it could be. But that's not what's rising up off the cards. It could show up in the extended, so stick a pin in it. Um, but definitely something that you might be internalizing as, like, you know, like, did I, like, I didn't just, I don't think I deserved that. Like, that wasn't what I was trying to manifest. And so you're second guessing everything. Um, and with that Eight of Swords, it's not just second guessing, it's like, now, now you're kind of like shrinking in and you're not, you have no idea what your next best step is. Oh my. So your person's three, uh, sorry. Your person's karmic challenge is three of cups. Page of Pentacles, Devil, King of Wands. Um, the Three of Cups can be about a reconciliation, but it can also be about third party. And third party can be just like someone who's out there mingling and still wants to see other people whether it's in front of your back or behind your back, <laughs> okay? Um, that's why I'm saying uh, the fact that you're both coming in here and your shared energy is around the King of Pentacles clarified by the Hierophant and the moon is there, like what you can't see or what brings up some insecurities or triggers some fears and insecurities. 
And so I wasn't sure if the Three of Cups was about a coming back together and a reconciliation, but I'm, I'm now thinking there could be some third party issues, right? Because what's coming in is um, a little bit of breadcrumbing and some I want what I want when I want it. Yeah, somebody who's not really ready yet to be a one person person, right? Who isn't really ready to give up uh, the single life. So therefore, and that doesn't mean a cheating life. It, it, uh, that's not what I'm saying even though that may be some of your experiences, uh, because I am seeing that that could be potentially there for some of you. But I, again, general reading, not a private reading. So you got to take it as it resonates. Um, but I am seeing, you know, evidence here of someone who's sort of undecided and wants more time. Seven of Pentacles in the hanged man, waiting for some enlightenment, pressing pause. Not sure. Not sure that they're ready to take this connection to the next level and make it where they just give up everything else. And that, therefore, is their karmic challenge. Got it? And before any two people make that decision, that's a karmic challenge. <laughs> And that's like, am I ready to kind of like, is this the person I want to say, yeah, just you and me and we're going to make it exclusive. We're not going to see other people. And we just said the words to each other out loud. So now it's like a verbal contract, right? So that's what I think I'm looking at. Though for some others, so for some of you, it could be something that has caused a, a, a lot of, disappointment and grief and feelings of rejection and devaluing. I know. Imagine how it feels on my end, having to kind of make sure I'm tamping down all the... <gasps> okay, Nine of Pentacles is the opportunity. opportunity is is your confidence um is sort of the continue to move forward regardless slow steady um with conscious intention more methodically more deliberately an offer may be coming toward you so you don't want to be stuck in the past stuck looking backwards in the you know, regret of it all or the sadness of it all or the disappointment. Um, I do feel that Five of Cups is all about part, a piece of your karmic challenge. And I feel this Knight of Pentacles is this person's energy. So it's almost, right, because I'm reading about the connection together. So I, I almost feel like the, 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 the opportunity is for the second chances, for reunion, for reconciliation, for second chances, for forgiveness, for redemption, for an answering of the, of the call. And it's coming at you slow, so it's barely perceptible. And so it's important to kind of stay confident and focus on yourself be, and not not sort of living in the misery of it all, right? The Five of Cups is a backwards-facing card. And, and I like seeing the Knight of Pentacles, whether it's this person's energy or your own energy, it's about looking forward, moving forward. And that, and that requires, you know, uh, some intention. Okay, Divine Guidance, the Sun. Mm. 
and the gift that comes from, from this. If you If you seize the opportunity, by the way, both of these cards are associated with the sign of Virgo, and Venus is in Virgo right now. Mercury is in Virgo too and is retrograde, right? So as I do this reading, I'll say it that way, just in case you're watching a little later. So the opportunity is about, I know my worth and value, and I'm going to lead with that. And I'm going to put one foot in front of the other and I'm just going to keep moving forward. And I'm not going to look back with a lot of regrets and a lot of misgivings. And I'm not going to, oh, woe is me, this whole situation. I've got me and I'm, I'm worth a lot. And if this person can't see that, then someone else will. But there's, there's something behind the scenes that tells me that this person... You know, they've, they've got the opportunity to work on their own karmic challenge, and who's to say that they won't? So I'm seeing that answering of the call behind the scenes and in unconscious awareness, and divine guidance is coming in with the sun and the world, which is Saturn, great teacher, Lord of Karma, lessons being learned, Old cycles closing out, new cycles beginning. And then I'm seeing Jupiter here, the Wheel of Fortune, blessings. Like this is this is fate and destiny unfolding in your favor. And there you are. Right? Everything in divine time and order. But you have to feel safe and protected in your vulnerability with yourself first. You have to know who you are, what you're worth first. And you have to close out the old cycle that says that somebody else gets to determine your worth and value. Not true. Mm -mm. And then the wheel moves in your favor. For this connection or whatever connection you decide, you decide is the one that's worthy of you. Ooh, your Venusian Galactic Council. I just channeled every word through them. That is what I have for you. Okay, so here's what's gonna happen. I'm taking it to the extended. I wanna see what we're dealing with here. And I'm gonna do like a high vibration, low vibration of this person so that you can kind of know it when you see it and you hear it. Uh, hidden energy is what they might not want you to see, but that could be very helpful. Um, what they do want you to know. A, a message, in other words, and other messages from them. So the links to that are below. I said links plural. There are a couple different ways to access that extended. So be sure you know what you're getting. Also, um, there is a link to private readings if you're interested. And before I give you the astrology, once again, I'm going to hit you up and say, if you enjoy my readings, if you've gotten something out of this, if it's touched you in some way, if it's been, you know, uh, appropriate to your situation and you felt validated in some way and you haven't yet or already subscribe below it's free that part doesn't cost you a thing i wait to the end because i want to earn that subscription it, i cannot stay on this platform if i don't get subscribers if i don't get the engagement if i don't you know get the views that's just the way things are going on this platform these days you've heard me about it long enough so i'm saving it for the end i'm doing it at the end out of respect but please please do subscribe if you haven't already okay and if you haven't seen me for a while because i'm getting that in the comments hi where you been i haven't seen you for months i've been here every freaking day literally maybe two days off three days off a month but i'm here so if you haven't been seeing me unsubscribe clear your cash right? Like your history, resubscribe. See if that helps. Here we go for your astrology. King of Pentacles, Taurus, 
Hierophant, Taurus, the moon, um, Pisces. Over here, magician, but of course, Mercury, which rules Virgo and Gemini. Uh, we've got the King of Cups, Scorpio. Over here, we have the um, Hanged Man, Neptune, which rules Pisces. We have the Sun, which is the Sun. Sun rules the sign of Leo. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in our little page of Pentacles. Um, the devil is Capricorn. King of Wands is Leo. There's some Virgo in our Nine of Pentacles. More Virgo in our Knight of Pentacles. The um, Judgment card is uh, Pluto, which rules Scorpio. The sun is out a second time. Leo. The world is Saturn, Aquarius, and Capricorn. Here we've got the um, Wheel of Fortune, Jupiter, which rules Sagittarius. So I'm headed to the extended. The link is below. I'll see you there in a second. Bye for now.